Hello, this is Chris Keeling, an engineer here at Valve Solutions. Today we're going to simulate a misset or damaged potentiometer and how to reset it in our series 1000 quarter turn electric actuators. To do this procedure, you will need a couple of common tools. First, a multimeter capable of reading resistance in ohms, a standard Phillips head screwdriver, a miniature Phillips or flathead screwdriver, and two short pieces of small single strand wire. With proper operation, the actuator will stroke fully through its range with the full range of the control signal. Here we show the actuator initially set up running through its stroke according to the control signal. In this case, a 4220 milliamp direct acting signal. When at 12 milliamps, halfway between the 4 and 20 milliamp signal, the actuator and valve are at 50% of their travel. With a controlled signal of 20 milliamps, the actuator and valve are at their fully open position. Using a standard Phillips head screwdriver, we will now remove the top cover and simulate a potentiometer that has been tampered with or replaced with a new unit. Using our controller, the actuator is giving a 12 milliamp signal and then moves to the 50% travel location. To simulate a potentiometer that has been tampered with, I will pull the potentiometer away from the gear on the dome indicator and rotate it until the valve is in the fully open position. Our control signal is now 12 milliamps as before, but the valve and actuator are fully open. Even if we were to reset the limits, the actuator would not complete its cycle since the potentiometer would rotate out of its effective range. We will now disconnect the power and move the actuator manually to roughly the 50% travel location. It is important that the actuator be at 50% travel before attempting to calibrate the potentiometer. Using your Phillips head screwdriver, remove the wiring compartment cover. Carefully pull the servo control pack from the wiring compartment and locate the pink, purple, and orange wire connector for the potentiometer. Carefully pull this connector from the control pack. Using two short pieces of small single strand wire, such as safety wire, insert them into the connector on the purple wire and either the pink or orange wire. The pink and orange wire are the potentiometer's power and ground, while the purple is its wiper. Connect your multimeter to these two wires and set it to read resistance in ohms. The potentiometers in series 1000 electric actuators have a range of 1000 ohms. While at mid travel you should get a reading on your multimeter of roughly 500 ohms. But since we tampered with the potentiometer in this unit we now have a reading of about 140 ohms. We will now pull the potentiometer away from the gear on the dome indicator and rotate it until we get roughly 500 ohms on the multimeter. Our valve and actuator are now near mid-travel when the potentiometer is at its mid-travel. This is a good baseline to start the actuator setup. Remove the leads from the multimeter and set it aside.
pull the two wires from the potentiometer connector and carefully reinsert the connector back into the servo control pack. We'll quickly go through setting the actuator back up. For detailed setup, please see our complete Series 1000 setup videos. Turn switch A on the control pack to position 2 to enter the control pack into the setup mode. Apply the desired full close control signal using your controller, in our case 4 milliamps. Press and hold the shut button on the servo control pack to move the actuator in the closed direction. Release the button when the valve and actuator are at the desired full closed position. Press and hold the shut and set button simultaneously for 4 seconds then release. The closed end position is now set. Apply the desired full open control signal using your controller, in our case 20 milliamps. Press and hold the open button on the servo control pack to move the actuator in the open direction. Release when the valve and actuator are at the desired full open position. Press and hold the open and set button simultaneously for 4 seconds then release. The open in position is now set. Be certain to remember to turn switch A on the servo control pack back to its normal position to run. Position 1 for direct acting and 3 for reverse acting. Carefully reinsert the control pack and wiring back into the actuator and reattach the wiring and top covers. The valve and actuator are now at the fully open position when given the full open control signal. We'll apply the 50% signal and the valve and actuator will move to its mid-travel. Applying the full closed signal, the valve and actuator will move to the position we previously set. The valve is now ready to be returned to full service. For any questions about the products shown in this video, or for further assistance, a knowledgeable, courteous associate is standing by ready to assist you at VSI. Please visit www.valvesolutions.com for full product catalogs, manuals, and contact information.